How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with some fast beer up in this piece in the form of Pipeworks. It is their Oktoberfest 2021 fest beer. Yeah. I love this label. Nice little Pipeworks unicorn, lederhosen, barrel. What more do you want? This beer, at the time of filming, 824, at three weeks old. Uh, you know, I don't think of fest beer when I think of Pipeworks. I should. But since they're not a local brewery to me, it's not something I'm like, oh, fest beer, pipe works. No, it's more, you know, ha hazies, stout, stuff like that. So I'm really excited to give this a whirl. Like I said, nice kind of classic spin, new school stylings. So I dig the label as far as that beer goes. I mean, it looks a part of a nice kind of Oktoberfest, fest beer, uh, kind of like graduating slightly into Baki kind of territory as far as coloration goes, but it still has that golden hue, soft little carbonation, two fingers of a poopy poured head because this dude's... Well, a poopy porn beer kind of guy. And, uh, yeah, so we're off to not too shabby of a start. It's good news. Malt forward. Malt forward with a little kind of little little peppery spiciness to the hoppiness here. A little bit of aggressive hopping, but not like aggressive in like a very kind of over-the-top kind of like tannic kind of way. It's more of kind of like a peppery spiciness. On top of this really nice rich kind of caramel almost like kind of maltiness. Not really getting much as far as, as far as lager nose on it as far as a yeasty ester, but you can definitely tell it's kind of a lager. Really is kind of a nice kind of back and forth between the way that that um, that malt and a little bit of spicy hop kind of comes off. So let's dive in. Cheers. That is fun, man. And it's a nice, like a nice, rich kind of caramel in here, a bready caramel, like almost like you made like a. Um, a, a brown bread with a little bit of caramel added to it. That's kind of way the um, the malt kind of comes off. And that spicy hop that you get on the nose definitely follows through in the taste. You have this nice, sweet and spicy kind of thing going back and forth. It's an Americanized version of a fest beer for sure. It comes off bigger, comes off bolder, comes off richer. Did I mention ABV 5.9%? So a little on the high end for fest beer, I guess. Not by much. Um, and honestly, it's probably one of the better Americanized versions of a fest beer I've had in quite some time, just from the pure kind of electric um, kind of impact it has on your senses. Again, we're keeping this in check. This is not anything like a barley wine or a triple IPA. It's in context here. So you're talking about a fest beer. As far as fest beers go, the way the malt level comes off of here, that nice kind of brown bready caramel combination in kind of step with that kind of spicy kind of bittering hot presence and a really nice drinkable lager-like drinkable kind of mouthfeel. Honestly, by far and away, one of my favorite Americanized versions of Fest beers I've had as late. Yeah, it's up there. Mount Rushmore status for that. If you put it just to lump it in with Fest beers in general, I probably lean a little bit more into kind of traditional Fest beers, but this beer is tasty nonetheless and super fun to drink. Um, valued availability on this, I think I paid like 13, 14 bucks for this. It's a steal at that price point, 13, definitely. And uh, leave you with a bar off the shelf um, and leave you with, if you like what well, we like this beer, if you like malt forward lagers and you're like the kind of a little bit more americanized kind of explosive kind of bigger version of what Amer lagers could be especially what they do with lagers here in the united states you'll love this so there you go review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massif if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you're enjoying a little pipe works right now hopefully see you next time cheers